Hey, what up ladies and gents? Welcome to another video by the Asian Robot. Uh, I've changed my video recording format because the software that I use to, to green screen myself without an actual green screen, it keeps malfunctioning with some of these Dark Tide videos. So you're gonna have to put up with, uh, you know, the slightly lamer ass video or rather slightly lamer ass um, sight of me right here in the bottom corner, but I'm sure you don't mind. Okay, in this video, what I'm gonna show you guys is the difference in uh, enemy hit points, all right? I'm going to make the assumption in this video that the enemy, that the amount of damage that enemies deal to you follows along the same line as their hit point increase, all right? Um, why is this important? Because I've noticed a lot of people go into higher difficulty levels without adequate preparation, and there's no real uh, power level requirement to stop you, mostly because I can't really tell what power level is. I know my gear keeps increasing in power level, but... I don't see an overall character power level listed anywhere, so it's hard for me to say what is the recommended power level would be. But, all right, starting right from Sedition, okay, you can actually check how much hit points a uh, a creature has and what is the relative increase in hit points. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this test using the Mauler and the Brain Burst ability because the Brain Burst ability always, you know, roughly does the same damage. All right, to a creature. Okay, just to show you how this testing will work, I'm going to kill this uh, scab, gunner. scab gunner, right? And if you instantly kill a creature, it'll say 450. So that's the maximum amount of damage that can be dealt to the scab gunner. But if I choose something like the crusher, for example, uh, it'll show the full damage of my brain burst, 848. All right? So in, in actuality, in actuality, um, killing the scab gunner only showed 450, but my brain burst can go up to... For, for 848, right? Okay, so now, to do this test properly, now that I've described the test, all right, we're going to start with the Scab Mauler, and I'm going to go through each difficulty level. I'm also going to show the loading screens to show that there's no hanky-panky, nothing being faked in the background. This is the way I always do this, uh, coming from other games, because I like to prove things, okay? So, in Sedition, which is the first difficulty level, the Scab Mauler has... 825 and 75 it's got 900 hit points all right now we're gonna we're gonna go exit this we're gonna select the second difficulty level which is uprising and we're gonna see if there's any change to the hit points of the scab mauler um like i said i'm actually reshooting this video so what i can tell you right away is that sedition and uprising there's no change to hit points but enemies in uprising will hit harder the reason for this is that Uprising is the normal difficulty level, while Sedition is the noob-friendly difficulty level where you're just getting introduced to the game, you're getting your first few pieces of gear, you're just, you're just, you're just taking baby steps, right? So Uprising is the first actual difficulty of the game, and then after Uprising, as you go Malice and higher, that's where the difficulty starts to increase and you actually have to use your skills well. Okay, going into Psychanium right now, sorry about that, gonna go in, hit this. I've actually got my girl with me here, but she's fighting with her printer right now. Um, so she's in the background, existing. She's muted herself because, you know, she's being nice and letting me shoot my videos. Technically speaking, I shouldn't be shooting this video now, but, you know, she's been very nice to me. And, uh, giving me the opportunity to do that. Okay, so now we're in uprising difficulty. Okay. Time to test it again. Bang. Oh, sorry, this is malice difficulty, my bad. Um, as you can see, it was 825 plus 375. The total is 1,200 for Malice difficulty. I'm so sorry that I shot this out of order. Uh, I'm going to exit back out and do the Uprising. But now you've seen Malice level. While we're in the loading screen, let me talk about that. In Malice, the Scab Mauler has 1,200 hit points. That means that compared to the 900 from Sedition and Uprising, it has 33% more hit points. And I firmly believe that it does 33% more damage than what you're going to receive in Uprising, all right? So the damage is 33% increased hit points and damage from base. And base would be like um, Uprising, all right? Whereas Sedition is reduced damage from base. Okay, I'm just going to note that down. Now, just to show you that Uprising, I, and once again, I sincerely apologize that it was uh, slightly out of order, but, I mean, considering that this video is not too long, you should be able to uh, follow me on uh, what I'm doing. So we're just going to go right in here. 
Now, by default, it's set at Malice, but we'll go into Uprising right now. You just saw me change that. Okay, my camera's obviously not in the way of that, so it should be easy for you to see. I'm just going to go in there, squish them all, I'll show you that it's 900 hit points, which is exactly the same as what you get in Sedition. All right? This is why I say Uprising is the base. All right? Based on my guesstimate. Okay, that's going to be 825, and then you're going to see a 75 there. All right, so you clearly saw that I'm in Uprising, and the Mauler is still at 900 hit points, but if you actually physically go into the game, you'll notice that the enemies in Uprising hit harder than in Sedition. This is most obvious if you go in with a level 1 character, all right? Uh, again, there is no way for me to create a custom game where I could show you how hard the enemies are hitting me, because that would be an easier way to test what kind of uh, damage increase you have from the base. But I'm just going to assume that the increase in hit points and damage is roughly the same. We're now going to test Heresy, which is the fourth difficulty level, all right? And we're going to see how many hit points the Scab Mauler has now, all right? I want to make this test as fair as possible, which is why I'm, I'm not doing any video cuts. I'm actually just showing you the loading screens and us going through each individual one so that you literally know that we're not trying to hide anything. Get out of my way, soldier. Look at him sticking my way. We're not hiding anything. We're not um, doing any hanky-panky in the background. We're not changing things here and there. We're just going to show you step by step. And I like to keep that authenticity in my videos. Okay, heresy difficulty set. Let's go. Now, Malice, as I said, and, and again, I apologize for it being out of order. Malice was a 33% increase in hit points and damage assumed from base. Let's see how much heresy increases. Okay, Scab Mauler. That's 825 and 675. So the total amount, 825 plus 675, is a total of 1,500. That means that 1,500 compared to the base of 900, that is a 66% increase in hit points and damage assumed from the base. Last but not least, we're going to test Damnation. All right. And we're going to see the full weight, my psychic abilities, on somebody who is damned. But yes, this is like, if you guys are wondering why I'm showcasing this, it's because... I think it's so important that um, players understand that although you can unlock, you can walk into Malice after level 3, you're going to be severely unprepared for it because not only do the enemies hit harder, but you're actually, you're actually um, also kind of out of luck because your, your weapons don't deal as much damage. So with the enemies hitting harder and them having more hit points, you're kind of screwed. And you can actually test how much weapons, how much damage your weapons are doing in the meat grinder. Which is, again, why I made that video. Please use the meat grinder because it's so important to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. All right? This is key. This is crucial. Okay, we're now on damnation difficulty. All right? This is the hardest difficulty in the game. How much hit points does the scab mauler have? 825. Another 825. I'm going to blow myself up for this, but 150 right there. Okay, so what you've got is 825 plus 825 plus 150. The total amount is 1,800. That's a 100% increase. They've basically doubled hit points and doubled their damage from the base. All right, so if you're not prepared, if you don't actually have the best gear, you're going to actually suffer during these threat levels. So once again, let me just express to all of you, it is so crucial that you guys prepare adequately before entering the higher difficulty levels. It is not just simply, I'm level 3, let's go into Malice. And so many missions have failed because two or three members are are underprepared and unprepared for the difficulty. And they just find that their swings are not working, things are not dying, and they just end up getting downed really quick. So be very careful about that. All right? Um, if you want my recommendation, don't start doing Malice until you're about level 15 because your feats and your gear are what's going to carry you through. All right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like my content. If you like the videos that I do, please, and I suggest that you do this, like, share, and subscribe, of course. Um, and you can also choose to join as a channel member if you want to keep my video content going. Channel members basically are the ones that contribute and make sure that uh, we have enough money to live so I can keep making videos. Um, giving a shout out to our top channel members right now. At Plus Ultra, we've got Death Dawning 982 
We've got Jerry Fast, Joshua Moritz, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Cream Puff, and Zack NFG. They're all at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. And for our honor tier as well, we've got Jammer Boy, Conrad C, Miss Eve, Grim Reaper 2296, Marin Whiffling, Jacob Gabrick, Turtle Dove, Nate the Great, Curtis Schussler, MJ Riffle, Shadow, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, Anarchy Inc., Greasy Burger, Stefan Gyra, Killer Team Gaming, and Coda CMF. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of our cool bots as well. Don't forget to hit that bell notification because I'll be doing a lot more videos. If you've got stuff you want to see, leave a comment below. Also, get this video to at least 50 likes if you enjoy my content. That'll let me know you like my stuff and I'll happily do more. Okay? Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good time.